God bless you again, Global Christian Friends. Here we are now, looking at the fruit season and tears about the kingdom of heaven. Of course, higher up, you know, it's the kingdom of God. The Bible speaks of bringing forth fruit from the kingdom of God. But the lower case is the kingdom of heaven. The higher case, the kingdom of God. Then appeared the tares also. Now you can look at this and uh, look at the hindrance the salvation, uh, the kingdom of God and the power of Christ. Hindrance. They're there all the while, but as long as the adversary is there, according to Revelation, they cannot reveal themselves. And I don't blame them. You look at the 12th chapter of Revelation, and when you begin to understand what it says there, uh, after all uh, the casting out and all that, 12.10, and I heard a voice, a loud voice that was saying, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. How come? You got rid of the accuser. And the terrors have got to be gotten rid of. You're not going to... How can you have a good, clear mind to understand what you need to enjoy, which have been provided for you, if you're thinking about the garbage and the rubbish is there? Jesus said, you don't gather... Thieves among thorns. That's what he said. And you have to understand this as well too. And I said before, if you're looking for milk, go elsewhere. There's meat here and beyond. 1327, so the servants of the household came and said unto him, Sir, this thou not so, what kind of seed? Good seed. Not like another power of the seed, but here, good seed. And I feel from whence then has it tears. Verse 28. He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. An enemy will always do that. All right? He is an enemy. He will always do things that will cause you uh, anything that's not right, not perfect, not holy. Matter of fact, Jesus he was alive from the beginning. So, an enemy had done this. He said in them, uh, uh, they said, well, thou then that we go and gather them up. That's okay. But you got to be very careful about what you're saying, about what you're doing in this respect. Verse 29, he said, nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, the root up the valuable wheat with them. No, 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 no. You don't know the difference. I know the difference. There's a principle here. I did not plant wheat to lose wheat. All right? Tares come up when there's a fruit in the bud, but they can't do anything except make misery and cause misery. But 30, let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers who are the angels, gather you together first 
the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them. Bind them in bundles to burn them and count the bundles that you bind. I want to know that if you bound 30 bundles, you cast 30 bundles into the fire. I don't want you to bound 30 bundles and cast 29 to the fire. No, don't do that. Cast them into the fire and burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. Now, I know you look at that in terms of heaven, the earth, and the world, and it's very difficult to see it in terms of the kingdom of God. Some of you out there would be shocked to discover that God gave the land of Israel to one man. And that the others went in too or were allowed to go in. He used the word thither. And to this he swore with 58 words. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 35, 36. And it was not the son of Nun that God gave the land of Israel to, the one man. You'll find God will often drop great pearls of wisdom for you to understand when you pay attention. And pay attention to what he's saying because what he's saying is powerful and uh, lengthy and in most cases heavenly and powerful. Jesus and God desire to tell heavenly, heavenly things because it's just right to tell heavenly things, to do heavenly things. We had said that scripture breathed better in heavenly realms. B-R-E-A-T-H-E. -E. Scriptures breathe better in heavenly realms. Everybody out there across the world ought to say that. Every person in the church needs to say every pastor, apostles out there, prophets across the world need to make these kind of statements. Looking at the good seed. The good seed, the good seed, not just seed now, good seed. But well, now the value have been raised. He valued them. That's why he didn't have none falling by the wayside. He didn't have none falling upon. He didn't have any falling among. But even when they fell in two, look what happened. There come the tares. They don't come until it's time for harvest or time for you to be able to look confused because, oh, what a harvest I've got coming. And that's when pride of the fields sit in. We said before there's growth taking place seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The planet Earth is growing something. Whether it's on land, whether it's on sea, or under the sea. We'll continue this the next time. Global Christian friends. God bless you. We love you.